All right, so when we turn up to the boat to remove the back cover, start with the back along the lines on the outside, take up the zips, go inside, then remove this corner, take the zip up, then start doing the buttons on the outside around, then come back and do the zips. And when you put them back on, you put uh, this one. So when you put them back one. on, you start with the top ones here, and put them in, and then go down the zip. The, that one. And then walk, sit around and clip them in like that. Yep. Make sure you do that one up, and then do these ones up. Okay. Start from the top down. And when packing them, just uh, roll these up one by one, and then where do they go under the seat? Yep. Under the seat. Okay. Start, unclip the cover here, then start the engines up to uh, just get them warm. Cover to this goes into this cover down here. So that's the bin, and then there's bin liners <coughs> in under there. Okay. A, I just went to bed about getting these, get, getting some of these cut. Yep. So I'll take them and get them cut. Let this place in prayer. Okay. <clears throat> so usually, like if it's not raining or whatever, I just open this up because it gets CO2 in here. Yep. And the CO2 alarm goes off. And then when you. 240 volt, 110 volt. 110 runs all the daytime running stuff. So you put the lights on, you put the trim tabs on, the horn, the radio, the blower, the autopilot, the electrics, the toilet, the winch if you're gonna stop, but you don't need to if you're not, the DC, the 12, the 12 volt. And then this is all the generator and the shore power. But if you start the generator, you start that. I've been starting for a while, so. When you're <coughs> flipping shore power, that's shore power. There. Yep. And that's on. Then, when you're sh shifting it to generator, you flick that up over that and that and then this over and you can see the voltage is moving there you don't really need to worry about this that's a parallel switch that doesn't doesn't you don't really need this yep and then if it's hot you want to run the air con when you run the air con you have to run the cooling pump um otherwise and all this stuff with dc outlets run the tvs and um, all that stuff Ice maker is always left on, galley fridge, cockpit fridge and galley fridge are always left on and they always run off the 240. So when you take the boat out and the generator is not running, <coughs> you can just use these fridges here, which is cockpit fridge and galley fridge. But because the generator is running, now you leave the, 20, the 240 volt on. But if you're not using the generator and you want to use the fridges, you switch the, the 110 on and that side that side's off and that puts the fridges on off the, ha off the house batteries. Okay, and if you put the shore power off, do you go back to, what do you do when you have the shore power on? When the, when you plug, when you... Shore power, when the shore, for the fridges? Yeah. So the fridges, when the shore power's on and that's it, it's shore power. Yep. Those are on and the ice maker's on. When the ice maker... That, is just, that just switches the generator to power coming off, off board, so you treat it the same yep. once you put shore power on. Yeah, they're both yep. 240. One's, one's generated from the generator, one's okay. from the shore, shore power. Yep. So we're going to run it off the generator again, so that's ship's power. Yep. And I was going to show you something. Yeah, with the ice maker, it won't generate ice. You always leave the fresh water pump on. Fresh water pump gives the ice maker water to make ice. Okay. There are no power switches for the batteries. Oh, there are power switches, but Christo leaves them on. You always work to test the power thruster before you use it. Oh, 
while running, otherwise the CO2 alarm will start popping right. up. With the keys, you just press them once and they run themselves, or do you have to hold them to keep starting like, a, like an old car? Well, no, they're, they're, they're like in off. Once you press start. on, they start themselves, right? What do you mean? Yeah. You always check the temperatures and the voltage. We should have like three, 3.3-ish bar in bar, and it should have about 14 in battery. And temperature, they should warm up to about 70 is like a good speed for warming up. Okay. And then yeah, the bar pressure will go up as you, uh, as you, um, as you get going. As you move the engines, yeah, you run the engines. And when you leave, I don't know, I'll show. It's always, it's always use the rudder indicator. All right, when, when you're driving, when you start driving, you're yeah, yeah. So you know what you're doing. Okay. It's all touch ground. Data. Apparently it's really shallow out there at the moment. 